All right, y'all, I have a very special video for y'all today. I'm featuring the one and only Miss Patty F. And Mayo, and we're gonna get into a shop talk about these niggas. <laughs> Stay tuned. What is going on YouTube? It's your girl Easy Breezy and I'm back with another hair sponsor. Thank you so much Lamore Hair. They sent me this 20 inch body wave lace front unit. Now this is the first time I feel like I ever said this name before so this has to be a brand new sponsor on my channel. Modeling today, we have the beautiful Patty FMAO. She is such a talented individual, fashionista, comedian, model, content creator. I mean, she is like a jack of all trades and she is like a master of all of them. <laughs> so if you are not following Patty FMAO on Instagram, go ahead and do that right now. Now, before we really dive into this install and the juicy shop talk for today, listen, y'all already know how I prep my models for these wigs, okay? <laughs> I clean the application area. I applied my medium brown stocking cap and did two coats of liquid lace glue. Now I'm applying the wig. Now, I did do all my customizing before I started recording, like I normally do, but the hairline was already pre-customized, so I didn't have to do that much. But normally when I get my wigs, I always bleach the knots and do a little bit of plucking because, you know, I gotta put my little touch on it. But it didn't come too thick, so even if you have to customize your own wig at home, it's not gonna be that hard. All right, you guys, so as I do this install, sit back, relax, get some popcorn, get some wine, do what you need to do because we're about to get into this shop talk. This is shop talk, okay? Whatever happens in the shop stays in the shop. Ladies, if you are in a relationship with one of these three-legged crazy people on this earth, <clears throat> AKA men, <laughs> this video is for you because I am learning so much every day and learning how to get my way in a relationship effortlessly. You know, not with manipulation, not with trying to convince him, not with arguing with him. And I just learned so much about men in such a short period of time. Number one, I had to go back. <laughs> okay, straight up. Like I had to go back, back, back on YouTube and do research on femininity. Just because I'm a human with a vag don't mean I know how to fully lean into my femininity and use that power to my advantage. So there are two phrases that I've heard growing up that I never really took into consideration until now. Number one is women actually lead their relationship, but they make the man feel like they do. <laughs> That's real. And the second one is, you know, when they say that men are the protectors and the enforcers, but women are the nurturers and the intellect. Yeah that's true too so the reason i mention these two is because if women don't fully understand that and know that they are the intellect of their relationship and yes we passive aggressively lead our relationships but make the men think they do <laughs> if we don't understand this fully then we won't know how to actually use our feminine power so a lot of women in America share the same experience of, you know, being independent, having to make money for ourselves, having to protect ourselves, having to fend for ourselves. So we naturally kind of lean into this masculine energy. So we can't even fathom how to gain control leaning into our feminine energy. And what I realized the hard way, okay, after a few heartbreaks, is that as a woman, less is more. The number one kryptonite of a masculine guy is a sweet, soft, feminine woman. And I know sometimes it doesn't seem like you can get your way by not demanding it or not putting your foot down, but you have to learn the language of a man. The key is being direct, but passive aggressive. Not telling him what to do, not demanding how you wanna be treated, but showing him, you know? 
just showing him that when he does good things for you, he gets rewarded. You know, when you fix things in my house, when you buy my groceries, when you cover my bills, when you do certain things for me, I do certain things for you. Now, let's say you're dealing with a guy that is not yet a man, but he wants to be, but he doesn't even fully realize what that takes, right? Instead of demanding certain things from him, you can just tell him what you like, tell him what you would appreciate he would do for you, tell him what you would like him to learn and do it in a way that's soft, you know, that's digestible for him so he doesn't feel like he's being reprimanded by a parent. And listen, before anyone says, uh-uh, I ain't changing the way I talk <laughs> or whatever it is. Listen, you are a woman, which means that the more you lean into your feminine energy, the more powerful you are to the man that you want to attract. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, it's hard to fathom, but as a woman, less is actually more. So another thing that I had to learn the absolute hard way is, a acronym that I tell myself all the time. Every time I get triggered, every time I get offended, I remember G-A-D. What does that mean? <laughs> Guys are dumb. Now, <laughs> obviously that's a joke because men are intelligent, amazing human beings. So if you're a man watching this, don't get offended, okay? This is for women to keep our sanity. Men will always be men and men used to be badass little boys at one point. So we have to remember that men will always say insensitive things every now and then. They'll always say dumb shit every now and then. They'll always say something that offends us or triggers us every now and then and not think nothing of it. But we don't have to get offended. We don't have to get defensive every time. All we have to do is just write it off and say, listen, guys are dumb. And listen, like, I know y'all probably think I'm joking or whatever, but I learned this from an actual married woman with four kids. She's in a committed relationship and been married for like almost 10 years now. So she is the one that told me that sometimes her husband still says dumb shit to her. He still says, you know, insensitive things to her. And she literally told me, Zakia, ignore it. <laughs> like guys say dumb shit all the time. Just ignore it. Y'all, when I really processed what she said and what she meant by that statement, I told myself, wow, <laughs> I've been getting offended this whole time. I've been acting so defensive and I've been, you know, being confrontational off something that he probably didn't even think would affect me. So it's like, guys are gonna say dumb shit. It's okay, like it's their nature. Once you know that, you can just brush off your shoulder and keep your peace. There's another content creator on YouTube named Arneal Williams, and he is an OG when it comes to marriage advice. He's been married for 40 years. You know, he's not a part of the Kevin Samuel, like little army. I mean, he can be Kevin Samuel's dad. And he is someone that also said that black women tend to just be so defensive and that could be the detriment to our relationships. So when I heard that, it really, really affected me. Number one, it triggered me because I was like, wow, I think that's me. <laughs> so it kind of like annoyed me at first. But then afterwards, you know, when I fully accepted the statement and I took accountability for myself, I realized I'm a woman. I'm beautiful. I know who I am. I don't have to get offended. I don't have to, you know, be defensive. I don't have to fight people. I don't have to fight for my respect. I don't have to do none of that. <laughs> and once I realized that, I was at like a new level of peace that I never even felt before. So another thing that I learned, um, going back to the statement I made earlier about women being the nurturers and the intellect, they don't say that women are the intellect for no reason, <laughs> okay? We are more mature than men. We mature like, what, 10 years faster than men? You know, we are more spiritually inclined and we're just more mystic and just knowledgeable. But what we have to do as women is we have to control ourselves emotionally so we can actually get our point across. So in an argument or a debate or whatever, we may always be right, but because we don't know how to handle our emotions or how to stop, you know, name calling or low blowing or saying ridiculous things, our point doesn't even get received.
So, I mean, I really had to dig deep within myself, take accountability for my actions and what I've done to people, said to people, and tell myself, girl, you are dead wrong. <laughs> yeah, your point was right, but the way you handled it was dead wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. We said we are gonna figure it out. The Lord was with us. <laughs> gonna figure it out. Oh, okay, wait. Pause, Shop Talk. This hairstyle is coming out amazing. Like, I didn't even know we were going to take it in this direction. And off camera, I did add two little tracks of platinum blonde hair. This does not come with the wig when you get it in the mail, but it's so easy to get this look. All you have to do is go on their website, get their 20-inch body wave lace front unit, and maybe one bundle of blonde hair. So unfortunately, we are at the end of this tutorial and I'm gonna have to finish this shop talk in a whole nother video because listen, we are not done, <laughs> okay? So this is the final result and baby, I'm in a love, okay, capital L. Once again, thank you so much, Lamour, for sponsoring this video with this Body Wave lace front unit. If you guys want this exact wig, I'm gonna put all the information in the description below. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you go ahead and do that. Turn on your notifications and I'll see y'all later. Hi guys, Patty FMAO here. You already know, new Galaxy Girl in town. I just wanna let y'all know, y'all make sure y'all get y'all products from Galaxy Girl, Lace Foam, and you already know that Lace Liquid Gel. Cause hello, you see this, you see this? Go ahead, check me out, follow me on my page, and make sure you better be following Galaxy Girl. Hello, you lit around here. Too cute.